This volume uh, actually had its origin in, the, in some discussions in the Institute for Biblical Research, the IBR. Uh, I've been the president of that group for the last six years, and we were trying to find ways to uh, put together a volume on the context and background of the New Testament that would be helpful to students, uh, not simply a scholarly uh, research that scholars alone would understand. On virtually every subject that we uh, discuss, there are volumes and multiple volumes on them. So each chapter is more of a summary of what's going on, though I think they advance a number of issues in, uh, in each of the categories that we're talking about. And we have some excellent scholars, some are internationally known. Uh, uh, in fact, all of the uh, contributors have made very excellent contributions to the volume, but uh, a good number of our contributors are household names in biblical studies, and I'm thinking of uh, Bruce Chilton, uh, uh, James uh, D.G. Dunn, Jimmy Dunn, uh, James Charlesworth, uh, Everett Ferguson, all of these people have just published widely in their fields, and there's a host of others, and I, uh, I know I'm going to omit some. There's 41 contributors to the volume, and uh, Joel Green is also a superb uh, biblical scholar, and he has helped considerably in the editing of the volume, and we've worked, I think, uh, fairly well in a collaborative uh, relationship on trying to uh, bring this volume to its fruition. But it's uh, the kind of place that every student would like to start. At the end of each chapter we have an annotated bibliography. We put, uh, we've asked each of the contributors to give us uh, the ten best uh, uh, books on the subject that they would refer a student or a graduate student uh, to to do further research. And so uh, when the student has finished reading the chapter, if they want to explore something more, the bibliography at the end with some annotations about what's in those volumes will be very helpful for the student. There are uh, a number of areas that we didn't uh, get into in terms of the volume, but uh, uh, nothing that was significant. What we thought we wanted to do was to hit the highlights that would be most essential for any student reading uh, the New Testament. Any person coming along and saying uh, they read something in the New Testament, what does that mean, what's the context, and often we answer questions that the student wouldn't initially uh, ask, but uh, we raise questions for them to pursue that will help them uh, have a better grasp. Uh, there are, as I mentioned, several volumes uh, uh, written, multiple volumes, on almost every subject that we deal with. Uh, so we're working on a comprehensive book in the sense that the larger number of issues that any student would face, uh, as I've outlined uh, earlier, those are the kinds of things that we wanted to explore and uh, to present uh, to, the, uh, to the student. Uh, scholars will also, I think, many of them will benefit from some of the uh, uh, articles. They are foundational in some sense. Uh, they are written by some of the world's best scholars in those particular areas. So we think that that would be very useful for professors to uh, get a better grasp on the co uh, context of the New Testament. Uh, as one of the editors of the volume, as uh, I thought I knew considerably more than I did after I read some of the essays, and I said, that's something I missed. And uh, I found a number of volumes that came to my attention that had uh, eluded me for some time, and I didn't realize how significant they were. So uh, it's that kind of thing. I think Joel Green and I both learned a lot by reading through each of the essays and uh, going over them uh, several times. We've each read through a couple of times uh, all of the essays that were presented. So it's a good collection by some outstanding uh, biblical scholars, and I think uh, those who read the volume and make use of it will find it to be a very useful tool, and we hope for several years to come.